Actually, he, he won game one with a knee, and then the very second he connects with the knee, he just turns to Sosa and he's like, Did you hear that click? Did you hear it click? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting debate to have uh, whether players can opt off of any TV that they want. Right. I don't think people should necessarily have to play on opposite sides of the, the stream setup. Because, you know, for me, sitting on this side, two feet away from the commentators, is pretty distracting. So it I is, wouldn't blame anyone yeah, for not wanting to sit there. Right, but the the other big thing too is, and th th this actually happened, that was crispy. Th that was gross from Jose. Did you see? He just kind of like fell and yeah. did nothing. He just did like a falling forward air. But mm -hmm. Well, the, the other thing too that I remember in uh, Sosa actually did this at a PM in the PM, the one that Junebug went to where... He, he played like Sheik or he something. Looked he looked at the controller. He looked at the controller during a, the DI mix-up. That's a Lunchables staple. Yeah. <laughs> He'll do that with Roy's uh, throw game mix-up. And it's like, I don't really understand. Is there a... How do you make a rule for that? Don't you, you look, don't. Like, you can't really do that. No, it's impossible to make a rule for it. Don't yeah. even try it. There's nothing wrong with it, technically. You know, you're not breaking any rule. But it's, it's like, like it's like the equivalent of sc screen looking when you're a kid playing games with your friends. I guess, but <laughs> it's like if you're watching their DI, I'm trying to understand because it's like when you're watching the screen, you should be looking at the screen saying like, this is what I'm seeing, this is what I'm reacting to on the screen. But it's like when you take away that like artificial, not skill, but you just kind of remove that aspect of just the game, what's on the screen. I don't know. It's just kind of this weird gray area that yeah. no one really ever touches on. I think, you know, even if you want to get rid of it as a TO, it's either impossible to police, or in the case where you do police it, it's committing harsher crimes against the players, like making them sit on opposite sides. People should be able to, you know, opt off of, you know, one side of the setup if they want it. Well, I mean, people have also mentioned this where Hungrybox would usually stand, and he would watch people's DI on up throw so that he could get either a better tech chase yeah. or get the kill. And it's like, for that especially, when you know it's going to amount to kill just because he knew which way they're going to DI and he didn't have to work nearly as hard, well, that's what I'm saying. Like, there's I don't still counterplay to it. You can click your control stick back and forth if you know they're doing that and then just confuse them. But it's like, with uh, up throw for jigs against a spacey, you literally have to DI before the throw. Otherwise, it's so quick that you're going to go straight up and die. Yeah. Anyway, uh... Talking about this match now, Oof. Jose's actually managed to make the comeback, and it's down to one stock each, and this can go either way. We'll have to see. It seems like because of the comeback, Jose must have some kind of momentum. What? And wow, what a combo so across, far. He won't stop double jumping. That was such a strange combo, too, because almost none of it was in, like, it genuine was, tumble hit stun. It wasn't even a true combo. It was just like, I think this will work. Here's a hitbox. Here's another hitbox. Oh, and it no hits him on the platform. No way. Yeah, uh, Venom, you know, froze his brows. He's like, that's, right yeah, he is he's not happy. So <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't know why that makes me laugh, but he's, like, so devastated. Like, I can't believe. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like, like his life is falling apart. He's like, what just happened to me? <laughs> that was so funny. Oh, my God. There's, like, no reaction, but, you know, inside, he's just like, God. He's just in screaming internally. What just happened? <laughs> That's we funny. might have an external scream at the end of this. Last time <laughs> they played at the previous event, it ended in an external scream. From and Venom. pretty consistently, at least in the past couple of, of we live -ins, uh, it's What? Oh, okay, they'll All take right, we're that. We're starting it off basically the same as the previous <laughs> game. <laughs> to some degree, yeah. Uh, but th there's been a trend where any time he wins, at le especially gets boring, man. If he wins, he screams. If he loses, he screams. So it's, it's not really... <laughs> yeah, he's become quite the... <laughs> The, the screamer, the, I guess. The guaranteed pop-off. It could it could be a good thing, it could be a bad thing. But if you didn't watch the match, you wouldn't know any different. Oh, no. Well, I mean, he usually just shouts expletives if he... Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> but no, last time I think he beat... No, that's true. That's true. Yeah. I don't know. Win or lose. We'll have to keep an ear out. There's, there's a guaranteed F word on the horizon. Yeah, there's a, there's a, <laughs> there's a tally we got to keep. So get him a, a pay attention last game. Get a Venom swear jar going. <laughs> Look at this. Just the same as last time. Yeah. Jose starts off with a terrible offstage decision and has now brought it back. Okay, that's nice back here though, waiting out for the the lack of a sweet spot, which is so hard Ooh. to do. Going to the ledge was the only correct option out of many, and he chose it. Ooh. Good on him. 
The knee was the correct option, and he chose that. And we're back to two stocks apiece. There we go. Now, this being best of five, very similar. A lot of time to adapt now. Not a The best of three doesn't always offer that. that oh, my, my God. My. What a combo. Is, is this still going? The Ness pillar. What? And it's, the, is, it, is it still happening? The down tilt into Nair so fast. Can I uncover my eyes? Is it over? Oh, no. He's... Jake just wants to get back. He just wants his feet I, on the ground. He's I, like, just give me this man. I like the stage. It'd be oh, no double jump. Oh, but Falcon's combo game. So you might have your really long, fancy, flashy combos, but I'm Falcon, he just and needs, I can knee you. He just needs one grab or one decent confirm in the knee, and you'll die at 30. Yeah. <laughs> this could be it. No. PKFR catches him. This could be a gimp. And really, it was honestly pretty Ooh. close to working, but... That was like the highest up air into knee confirm I think I've ever seen. He like almost touched the top platform. Yeah. His rapid PK fires allowing him to convert into an 80% combo. Okay, smart. Air dodge is out. Doesn't really want to have to put up with that anymore. All right. Venom's been catching people on uh, tech roll in all day. That was a great shield stop, too, to kind of wait for the tech chase to get the down air. That was a clever yo-yo, but Venom slipped between it. And the sweet spot. Uh-oh. Very nice sweet yeah. spot. Jose is going for these really weird on-stage edge guards, and, you know, low risk, low reward, it's not paying off. Needs to do something a little different, maybe even drop off and just nair. And it was like you are saying, too, uh, we were seeing a little bit of platform camping on Jose V, and then eventually he's just, uh, Venom says, you know what, I'm just going to shield this, run up and shield, see what I can get. He gets that. That uh, might back be throw it. Is, I don't think it's going to kill. And it does. It proves I'm wrong. wrong. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Either way, game three. And we're going oh. right back, no hesitation. Yeah, Venom is super confident in this pick. I'm not sure it's deserved. I mean, that wasn't such a bad loss. Neither were. No, in no. fact, he was in the lead the first portions of each game. Well, to see if he can, like, the biggest adjustment he needs to make is his mentality and his, you know, adaptation. Right. Because that was pretty much a repeat of last game. That means not a whole lot. No one's winning the adaptation war. For every adaptation one person made, there was an equal one on the other side. And that was such an interesting reverse hit of uh, the back. I think it was the back air, mm -hmm. but it was just an interesting way to edge guard. But right now, we've got a much more kind of zen Venom, where normally when he's off stage, he's just like, well, I might as well be dead. But mm -hmm. his mix ups to kind of avoid the. What was that? Oh my goodness. Oh, that almost happened. Yet. I gotta say, on top of that, Jose's been going for really unorthodox edge guards. Right. Off stage and on, he's been doing really unexpected things. Completely, uh, I basically saw none of them coming. That could be an advantage, but he's not hitting any of them. You know. Dead. Oh, yeah. oh no. He purposefully did the bad DI. All right, that was a close call. That knee overpowered the nair. I think it must have hit before it came out. That, this time, That's no. probably dead. Yeah. No, 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 no. Falcon loves this place. Yeah, that was from the opposite side of the stage, too. So that's just about as big as this game can, like, handle in terms of, you know, survival. Perfect situation, perfect boundaries. Right. And living to 210%, definitely no easy feat against Ness, but eventually takes it. And this is just Jose V going off right now. Yeah, this is... I don't know. Yeah, it's not necessarily that Venom's doing bad, but he, he needs to do better than even this is this is what we've gotten so far and he needs to do much better than that if he wants to win right maybe even a stage pick would have been a good opportunity to at least change the matchup maybe the stage might have been better or worse but it would have been different there's so much fishing with backers from jose v and nares from venom yeah weird back air from venom too oh god Ooh, that could have been ugly falcon's meteor has taken many unsuspecting lives Okay, okay. Really sick back air. Yeah, pretty fantastic. All right. Wow. Get up attack. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what option he really could have done there. That Was that good? It was such an awkward position, and the fact that the PK Thunder 2 put him all the way past the platform, I didn't even expect that. Yeah, so I guess... There we go. Now that I think about it, one thing is, okay, if a spacey up bees, you can usually tell if they're capable of sweet spotting or not. But, you know, so you might see spacey up B too high, assume he's not going to go for the ledge. Then he might change his angle right up at right. the very last second. I don't think, uh, I don't think Ness can do that. So I think if he catches him with a high up B like that, he should just assume he's going to go onto the stage and get right. on instead of doing the whole ledge Ooh. get up. I think he was expecting either the up air or the down air with that DI, but whatever it was, it was not the best DI. 
Yeah, this is the most fortunate uh, Venom has been this set. He's got two stocks to make this work. He reads all of it. Crowd asking for a Falcon Punch, sort of irresponsibly. Like that yeah, would be a terrible and, way and to throw away a game. <laughs> pretty related. I remember, I I got a, a uh, what's it called, a sacred combo on my friend using the Venom skin. Mm -hmm. So I sent him a a video or a a picture of it, and I was like, yeah, dude, I got this. And I was like, why don't you ever Falcon Punch like way when you're ahead for like a potential read? He's like, because I don't do that. <laughs> That's you know all who he told does? me. Yador. Yeah. Yador's Falcon is so strangely good. That thing legit has stale moves on Falcon Punch, and it makes <laughs> no sense. He's so good at reading that. Uh oh. 92. This means basically any grab up throw is going to lead into a knee. I feel like that could have been just a short hop knee. Uh oh, that w that could have been it either. Jose is looking for a grab. He wants to get him off stage quick. If Venom's not careful. It could just be over. He really needs to play this carefully. This is his last shot. Air Dodge is on stage. Double back air. Oh no. That's it. That That's might, it. He's that might definitely be. dead. Just based on Jose V. Yep. Yeah. The 3 0. And there it is. Are we going to hear something? Just, just wait. Let's go, Jason! Well, the crowd, the crowd said something. <laughs> no, maybe this is the exception. Yeah. yeah. Maybe he's come to terms against Jose V. That's the third column <laughs> we'll have to add to the uh, tally. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's J 